Mars is one of the most interesting planets of our solar system. It is the fourth planet from the Sun. It is a rocky, cold, desert world with a very thin atmosphere. On Mars, we see volcanoes, canyons, and impact basins much like the ones we see on Earth. Many of the same physical land features we see on Earth also exist on Mars. It is the most widely searched planet for life. One day on Mars is completed within 24.6 hours, while a whole trip around the Sun is completed within 669.6 days. So Mars is pretty much similar to Earth. It is the only planet apart from Earth that lies within the habitable zone of Sun. The habitable zone is the area around a star where it is not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface. Many research works have shown that Mars once had water and even life. The solar system was formed from a giant rotating ball of gas and dust. Much of it formed the Sun, while more of its dust went on and merged to create the first protoplanets. Mars was one of these planets, and after the gravity pulled enough swirling gas and dust, it became the fourth planet from the Sun. About 5.4 billion years ago, Mars was hell. Magma oceans flowed on the surface of Mars. After a billion years, magnetic field formed around Mars. This created a protective layer around Mars, which shielded Mars from solar radiation. About 4.3 billion years ago a huge object collided with Mars, the remains of the object started orbiting Mars, which formed rings around the red planet. After a billion years, Mars got warmer and carbon dioxide ice clouds formed in its atmosphere. In the next billion years rainfall started on Mars, which resulted in water oceans and lakes. It is thought that 3.8 billion years ago, life started flourishing on Mars, this is the same time when life started developing here on Earth. In the next billion years, Mars' molten core started to cool down. This resulted in Mars losing its magnetosphere. A possible reason for this is because of numerous asteroid strikes and the solar wind interacting directly with the Martian atmosphere. The solar wind from the Sun started stripping off the atmosphere on Mars. It slowly began losing its atmosphere. Due to a thin atmosphere, Mars began to lose its oceans and lakes. The remaining water condensed to form ice on its poles. After a billion years, Mars became a cold dead planet. In 1971, Mariner 9 became the first artificial satellite to enter the orbit of Mars. Humans started exploring Mars in the 20th century. Today Mars is occupied with robots and rovers that are finding evidence of water and life on the red planet. It is believed that Mars will be terraformed by Elon Musk or hopefully humans in the next 1,000 years. In 5 billion years, the Sun will become a red giant star, this means it will reach its maximum size. It will consume both Mercury and Venus and reach the orbit of Earth. This will be the end of both Mars and Earth. But once again the habitable zones of Sun will change. The habitable zone is the region where liquid water can exist. This may provide hope to other planets and life may once again evolve and start questioning its existence.